Hi guys, so tonight I am going to do a back to school haul, which I've been saying I'm going to do for a long time now, but I finally got it all in and um, sort of sorted it out, um, but I'll go over what do we have. We have 10 kids in school this year, well 9 in formal school, 1 in preschool, but all at the same school. Um, yeah, so 8 of them are new to the school, so... Uh, seven needed new backpacks, uh, three needed reader satchel things, um, which you have to buy that are schools, uh, and then all the school uniforms, uh, all schools in Australia, I believe all schools, I don't think there's any that don't have uniform. Um, ours, being a private school, has a formal and a sports uniform, which bearing, bearing things in, um, each one so for example they have a formal jumper and a formal and a sports jumper but then they have a jacket that they can wear with each um which is kind of confusing um so yeah and um so the formal jumper which is a woolen jumper is around a hundred dollars and the jacket is about a hundred and twenty dollars depending on the kid's size it goes up and down a little bit uh sports jumpers are 60 just to give you an idea, their jumpers, the shirts the boys wear are 48, and their shorts are 36. All have to be brought from school uniform shop. I know a lot of people have said, why don't we just buy them from Target and things? They're not the right grey. Um, and majority have an emblem um, sewn onto the pants, so or like somewhere, or a certain cut or whatever. So. The school shirt has an emblem on the pocket and it's actually hemmed so they don't tuck it in. So it's like, it's a weird shirt. Um, but it, it does look nice <laughs> so they don't have to tuck it in. Um, yeah, so all of that, they all needed new school hats. They have to be that um, of the schools, blah, blah, blah. So that was a costly effect um, amount in itself. Um, I'm not gonna show you any of that because it all has logos on it and I'm not going to sit and edit out a whole bunch of logos so um, there was really no point in doing that so I'm going to show you the other stuff we brought the stationery and all that um, so we have to supply stationery for the three older kids in secondary um, the primary kids get a book pack given to them which has their textbooks um, their pens and pencils and that all that sort of jazz that they get to use all year so they used to share it amongst the class but because of covid they when they returned in term three they all got a pencil case each so i'm not sure whether they've kept the pencil case or harry's pencil case and then um like yeah gone individual everyone had their own things i'm not sure what they're doing with that this year but um i'm assuming it would stay the same they wouldn't be allowed to share Otherwise, they'd have to be spraying pencils every hour or half a day or whatever it is. Anyway, but um, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I've also stocked up a little bit more than I would have just in case we have to have even a short lockdown. Um, if there was a case within the school, it's my understanding that their kids would have to stay home for two weeks and everyone in our house would have to isolate, um, which is what I understand is what's going to happen this time instead of the whole state having to lock down. Um, yeah, so I've got an extra few things, just in case. Um, and I'll explain why as I go along. But here we go, I'll show you what I got. So first up, I'll show you lunchbox. I haven't even allocated these lunchbox. I literally went through and went, okay, I need X amount of boy ones and X amount of girl ones. I only need one girl one, actually. So I got a whole heap, but then I found some in drawers i brought a couple when i was in america last year so a pokemon one and a woody one so i think they'll um a couple of them will use that but anyway they're not about to have these or any some were eight some were 12 from big w we just use these and then they use smaller containers inside i haven't brought any containers actually i did buy some containers um i'll show you later <laughs> but for now I've got a whole bunch of um, lunch boxes. So this one, 
Um, I'm just going to toss that one aside because it's in my way. This one was for Zoe. I thought it was cute. It actually has a unicorn thing. And this was only, I believe, $10 or $8 from Big W. So it was cute. Just got that on the cuteness factor. And then I really try and avoid things like this because of the type of school I go to. But, you know, there was only so many lunchboxes out there. So one had to have one. Um, then I just got that one. Um, then this one I think Cooper wanted. And then we just got a Mambo, um, like camouflage type one. And then Stephen needed new white socks, so I got him six pairs of those there. And then into the actual lunch boxes. Um, so this one I actually got for Nora, but Caitlin said that she wants it so she can have it because Nora doesn't even go to school. Um, this one's for Tyler. These are just two um, ones probably. I will label them. Each kid will have a label on them, which I actually have over there. I'll show you. Um, so they will only be allowed to use the containers with their names on them. That's how I know who loses stuff. And then as we go along, um, we find out, I think Harry was the culprit last year of losing them, but um, we'll see how we go. So Harry and Joel both got Spider-Man because it was really weird. They only had one print for boys, but they had two or three for girls. So they had a Kmart, they had um, Barbie and Trolls, and I believe there was another one. Uh, I can't remember. But yeah, um, so they got that. Um, Zoe got trolls. Bella got Barbie. Tyler doesn't really eat sandwiches. He more eats snacks like celery and um, cucumber, capsicum. Well, not ca yeah, he'll eat capsicum. Um, cucumber, that sort of thing. Cheese, sticks, that sort of thing. So I actually got him two of these. Uh, I found these at Coles though, that's where I got the Hot Wheels ones, uh, that was a while ago and they, ours don't have any left. Then at Woolies, actually last night I got these for me and Nora, so these ones actually unclip. And this top section comes off, so you can make like a lunch here and two snacks there. I actually thought these might work for um, Joel. So our school, you need to provide in a contain two containers in prep, in a basket that sits with them, uh, two fruits that they can eat. So they have to be like not watermelon. <laughs> they have to be cut up apple or banana or oranges or whatnot in there. Um, so I thought that might work well for him. Grapes and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure whether I might go and buy him one, but I'm thinking they might be a little big. But I got these for me and in order to go out for the day, I thought that they would be a great alternative to take away. And I also thought these would be great in the car for her. So you only give her one side. She has a tendency to drop things in my car and then can't get them. Alright, and then we will move on to the extraordinarily expensive calculator. Yeah, this is like 230 something dollars for them to have in high school. Um, Andrew unfortunately lost his, so we couldn't reuse it. Um, then I use these to write a whole bunch of notes and stuff, and I usually buy them over the year. Um, for like five or six dollars each and this was a five pack of seven dollars so I got that for me that's not really a back to school item but um, it's for organizing so that sort of thing um, I also got um, still got to get drink bottles I've actually been having issues getting good drink bottles so this one is for Tyler uh, this one is for Bella um, and then we have the Camelback metal ones for Harry, Zoe, and Joel. So I sort of wanted to get them all metal ones, but I really can't find any around that I like. Um, 
yeah so these ones are okay I think these ones are fine some of these are really dodgy and pushing down they pop back up and we had issues last year with them popping back up and obviously leaking in the um, school bag oh, and let's move over to this side of the table um, so uh, we used a fair bit of paint or needed paint and we could never find it um, online or um, at the supermarket because it's literally all we could go to during lockdown so I actually got a few boxes of these but this is the only one in an actual box now because they have been using it over summer so um, but yeah I wanted them on hand because there's a lot of painting in class I got four boxes of pencils because I was sick of running out of them I also got these watercolour paints for uh, Zoe and Nora to use. Um, Zoe will be home two days a week, so um, she can still do stuff at home. And then I got three packs of these. I literally only needed a black texter, and it'd be really great if they could sell just like a pack of black texters because that's all we really use out of them. Well, not use, like, well, it's the only one that ever runs out. Um, I see it'd be really handy if Faber Castell could um, make a black pack. Um, and then we have erasers. So I actually got quite a few of them. Pencils. Stephen needed HB and 2B. I don't know why, but I just brought them. I got these. These are for me again. Um, to write on the whiteboard. I was hoping to give each kid a colour. Um, but we'll see how that goes. How many are there? Yeah, two, four, six, ten. Oh, I'm missing three kids, but you know. Um, then I got um, Caitlin and Stephen needed these glue sticks, needed the whiteout and Andrew rulers. I was so over looking for rulers last year that didn't have chips and stuff. So we got rid of them and we brought new ones. Sharpeners. Oh boy, sharpeners during lockdown. We could never find them. And then I ended up paying, I swear, six or seven dollars at IGA, which is the only place I could find them, um, for a cheap one exactly like this one that broke and not long after we got it. So um, this year I brought three for the drawer. I actually thought I brought more anyway but um yeah so we now sharpened have sharpeners for emergencies so I got a bunch of blue tack because we use blue tack over the year a bunch of crayons because we don't seem to have any crayons left um I noticed during lockdown I actually brought all the kids the pens that I use I usually am a cheap set and buy them the cheap ones but then they just come and nick mine so really I'll just buy them mine and they can take them from the start. Um, and then these math do the lucky things. I don't know. They were $2 and they're on their list. They say they've got all the parts. This one came in a box this year. So I got the box. Um, but I do remember also in lockdown hunting high and low for one of these and one of these. So $2 well spent there. These ones I found were easier for the little kids, so I got them in case they need to glue at home. These are actually for me again. Um, ow. These are a part of their book list. Um, so um, Stephen and Caitlin needed refills. And then Stephen needed these to divide things, I guess. Um, we kept needing these during lockdown as well. They were like a dollar or fifty cents, so I just bought them for having them in the drawer. The kids can draw in them if that's what it comes to, but I got them them literally in case we get back into lockdown. Uh, these are graph grid books. One's a grid book, one's a graph. What's the difference? Is there a difference? I don't know. Is there really a difference? I think they both need a graph. Oh, hopefully the teacher doesn't notice. Um, anyway, one needed 10 millimeter, Stephen, and Caitlin needed five millimeter, so she got that. 
So that's them. These are Stephen's um, exercise books and binder books. Caitlin's already sorted hers out. I've got one there to show you. Um, and then these are hair duvalaki things in school colours. That is literally all I could find in green or black. So I need to go on a bit more of a hunt. And Stephen has these. So they have these for each subject. Um, that's big enough, I guess. This is Caitlin's all set up so I could show you on the bottom. So what the kids do is they have... They have to have a display book for a lot of subjects. This one does, obviously. So I guess the teacher prints stuff out and they pop them in there. Then she has her textbooks in here. So this one has two textbooks for it. Then she um, has her binder books that she has there that she got. So they sit in there. So they all sit neatly so they, she only has to grab out of her locker whatever binder she needs. And that is everything she'll need. I think she actually puts pens and pencils in it as well. Okay, what I was going to also show you, which I actually brought for the back to school stuff, which these are the little containers the kids use for fruit and stuff, that sort of thing, anything really. These ones, um, they put yogurt in. I actually think they put yogurt in these ones as well. They also have ones that are like this big. Um, so that's what they put in those. Um, they also have put dip and stuff in the little round ones. So I brought a bunch of those. As well, these come in a three pack, each of them come in a three pack. This one comes with one with a green lid and a pink lid, but I only got out of the drawer the ones I needed to show you. Also, in my back to school haul, obviously, all the kids had to get black leather shoes for school, um, and I think five of them need new runners. So, at the end of lockdown, um, a few of the kids actually didn't even fit in their shoes. We had to order shoes before we could go out. It was really weird. Um, so I think two or three of them actually did that. Um, so they already got new shoes then and I feel like it's sort of a waste of money to buy them a new pair of ones now just because it's sort of back to school now. So they can wait until they sort of wear them out. Whereas Joel was one of them who needed... Um, outgrow his other ones he's actually outgrown the ones that we brought after two um his like arch of his foot like this strappy thing doesn't stay down it anyway he needs to be fitted properly we did a um online fit and i just didn't find it just as well just just didn't find it it worked that well gosh my words were really wrapping around my tongue anyway so all of that has been done as well I'm not pulling them out, <laughs> they're like in their cubes and if I move them I'll never find them again. Uh, so generally the shoes alone, the leather ones, cost us around a thousand dollars. We usually get the Clarks ones, actually the last couple of years we haven't, last year we asked them what ones they wanted and they wanted the Target ones which are $35 so you know better than 109 so um they all took them so this year again they got target so that was it was still four hundred dollars i don't know i can't i can't do math in my head right now or ever really um I, actually i can but yeah i can't be bothered so that was quite a bit of a thing their runners are around the 60 to 150 mark depending on their feet obviously joel and harry have their 60 feet um, and Zoe, uh, but the older kids, um, Andrews, can be between $150 and $200 per runner or big like shoe. So there's that expense. Uniforms this year, I spend generally in a year around $1,000 to $1,500 just on uniforms, replacing them and whatnot. Um, so this year it was a few thousand dollars um, and I've only just just got them enough just to wear a uniform of each. Uh, they don't have their sports jumper yet and they don't have their sports jacket yet. So 
um, hopefully it's not cold on sports days because um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. <laughs> um, a couple of the kids do have jumpers. There's one 10 which fits jo um, Cooper and Lachlan. Uh, so hopefully I don't have sport on the same day and it's not cold on the same day. I'm budgeted to pick it up week three or four. So anyway, it shouldn't be too long. And I'm sure the school will be fine with them wearing their woolen jumper. Uh, if we just, you know, explain about our envelope system, they're pretty cool like that. So um, anyway, I'm rambling on. So there's quite a bit of new expense that I haven't showed you. I have no idea what that stuff cost me. Usually I keep track of it. But um, yeah, this year I just didn't. It was really hard to get certain items. Drink bottles, obviously, I still haven't gotten. They still do have some drink bottles left, so they might just have to make do until I find one because they're like really scarce and I don't want to buy some cheap and nasty one either. So anyway uh that is it for today guys like subscribe and comment below bye